Welcome to the weekly metal show. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, but it's like a weekly metal thing I want to try and do. Going to upload at least once a week, so yeah. Um, so we're going to start off with what I checked out this in this last week. I checked out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight bands in the last week. Hair hole catalogs. Some of them are going to end up on this jacket, so I'm excited for that. Also, I'm on dog duty because the only one so here's stuff like that it's the dog playing so first thing i checked out was hellhammer apocalyptic grades and demon entrails great albums demon or er, i forget uh, yeah apocalyptic raids was their first album and then hellhammer broke up and turned into celtic frost right here which is an amazing black metal band you guys know how much i love them so yeah, they were, it was great, both of them. Uh, the first album was great, just eight songs. Really, it's just a Celtic Frost demo, which I greatly enjoyed. So yeah, then the next album was pretty much just re-recordings with a bunch of other stuff. It's about two hours long, so sit back, relax if you have an afternoon to kill. And listen to Hellhammer, they're great. I might put them on my jacket, don't know yet. So next up, we got Bath, modern black metal, really good band, really good guy. I've heard I've heard he went been in rehab, so that's interesting. Will I see the him live? Probably not. I'd be fine with not seeing a Bath live, but check out their catalog. One thing that surprised me: they have a Trapped Under Ice cover. When I didn't expect that, I did not expect to see a Metallica song in any black metal catalog ever. See, so, yeah, but it was great. Next up is the band Carnivore, which I think we all know because the guy, the singer of Carnivore, Peter Steele, started this band right here. See, so, yeah, I love Carnivore, their first two albums. You know, self titled was great. Retribution or Retaliation, I'm sorry. Great. I would put it somewhere on here. I would maybe put it somewhere on this side. This spot is reserved for another band. So, yeah. But I would totally put them on there. Carnivore, great, great band. I loved Carnivore. I, uh, Pete Steele outdid himself on that one. It's better than some of the Type O stuff, I'll be honest. So yeah, great, great stuff. So next band I checked out is Necrofilth. I don't know if any of you guys are going to know who Necrofilth are, but they have two albums, one EP, and I think they're great. I think they were really solid. I think they're going to hopefully get somewhere in their career but for right now necrofilth great 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 band check them out next up we have a band i've been wanting to listen to for a long time finally got around to it possessed which loved say i love love seven churches like i think it really is you know i was always on the uh no wrong side the i was always i always thought death more started death metal but i didn't want to talk about it at all i didn't want to get into that conversation until i heard possessed so i finally listened to seven churches and I th it's a transition from thrash metal to death metal so that's really what i think it is so is it the first death metal album yes and no so great catalog even past seven churches they don't have they have five albums if i'm remembering right and i think one of them is also a live album so I think they're great. I think you should totally listen to Possessed if you haven't already. Do I regret not waiting? Do I regret waiting this long to check them out? No, I'm glad I did, though. I think I found them at just the right time. So yeah, next up is the band, death metal band Tomb Mold. Tomb Mold, which I've heard interesting things about their latest album, The Enduring Spirit. I've heard it's not great. I listened to all of it, loved it, loved their whole catalog. Would definitely have them on my jacket. Same with Possessed and maybe Necrofilth. I think I already have a spot for Necrofilth that could work out for me in the end. Yeah, totally fucking great. Death Metal. I love it. Not my favorite Death Metal of all time. My favorite Death Metal band is Death. So, I can, you can't go wrong with Death, alright? So, next up, final band crossover threat my this is my very first crossover thrash band and it's not dri it's municipal waste 
Holy shit, I love these guys. These are fast, heavy, quick to the point. Basically, everything my ADHD wants in metal. They're just right there, first and foremost. Love them. So yeah, municipal waste. I would definitely buy one of those hats, a municipal waste hat, because I need, I need a metal hat. I have this camo hat with a logo on it of a place I really love, but I can't say I'm going to dox myself. But great... I love the place, but I love the hat too much to lose in a pit. Like, I could get a Municipal Waste pat hat, and if I lose it, I wouldn't be overly sad, but I would also be upset by it. So, yeah. That's pretty much... Yeah, Municipal Waste is definitely the best out of all of it. I'm not going to say the worst, because I don't think there was one, really. So, yeah. Next up, I have Battle Jacket Updates. So first up, I was going to make this one into a video, but it iMovie was a pain, so it just never happened. But it was these Blades of Chaos God of War patches. And I saw these on an Instagram page, Altars of Patches. So I was like, oh my god, I have to have these, but I never found them again. Because I got them confused with Pull the Plug patches, which I also follow. So, But then I eventually found them on their website, ordered them immediately... And they took a while to get here because they're from some 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 country I don't remember the name of. Cause I'm American. Okay. So these blades patches, I had I had to have these when I saw them. And now I'm glad I have them. And they're in like the perfect spot. Might put a pin here in the middle just to add add some flavor. So the next up is one of an amazing, amazing patch as well. Dio Holy Diver, because I did listen to all of Dio. What more can you say? Holy Diver. Favorite Dio album. It's just... If you haven't listened to this, what are you doing? Title track, we've all heard. It's just got so many good songs on it. So next up is... Let me find it. Dark Throne, Fuck Off and Die Patch. It's a silk screen. So if the temperature's just right, it's cold. So when I put my hand down, I get cold, so... Make sure you're watching out for it, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not a fucking pussy, so. Dark Throne, fuck off and die. Not my favorite Dark Throne album. I was gonna go with this or their first album, which I am blanking on the goddamn name of. Fuck, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, it's a death metal album. This is more black metal punk, which is interesting that I, it was good and I liked it. So yeah, that's the main part about this. I, if you haven't listened to this, what are you doing? Next up, I have... Where is it? Not the other side. I have too many patches on this. No, that's not true. Once this thing is full, yeah, I have this accept patch that I put by my Cannibal Corpse patch, which fits really well with the whole red aesthetic of my jacket. And even me for the Speed Red, but... Except I wanted a different one. I probably would have put Balls to the Wall on here for the album patch. But I couldn't find one. Or the one I did was like the Balls to the Wall tour patch. Which was way too expensive for me. So yeah, I did what's the one with the logo. Which looks great right here. And Except is an amazing band. So yeah. What more do you want? And then I got right by my beloved Motorhead patch. It fit so perfectly this wasp patch. I love the this this is, wasp is my the only good glam metal band if you ask me. Favorite album Throw a fucking dart. Favorite song however, the song Asylum number 9. It is something about it just really captivated me, I guess. It's great. Check out Wasp if you haven't already. My dog agrees with you. If you check out Wasp, they're great. And then I just got this today and sewed it on right before I started filming. I got this Soulfly patch that I've wanted to put under my Sepultura patch really since I got Sepultura. And then I have, I may or may not have a Cavalier Conspiracy patch coming that I'm going to put right under there. So it'll all, that'll look great on there, but that is coming from Germany. And it's going to take until the 20th to get here. So we're going to have to wait a while for that part to get filmed. But now... That I have this Soulfly patch pretty much giving me a visual of what is going to take up the rest of this section. I can finish up this whole part. Oops. 
So yeah, that is what's new with my jacket. And now, this is another exciting part. I have some more CDs to show you guys. Up. It's gonna come in use later. I'm not, you guys can't see what it is, but first CD I bought, two of them are already open, or one of them I already opened, the other didn't have any wrapping on it, and two more are still sealed. So, first up, this is probably the best album I've listened to all year that didn't come out in 2023. Roots, I love Roots. There's the back of the tribe. Goddamn glare. But yeah, you know, Roots, Bloody Roots. This was my most listened to song on Spotify. Attitude just fucking sucker punches you. Cutthroat amazing. Rata Mahata. It's just a goofy song that I love. Breed Apart was great. Straight Hate. Spit. Look Away. Dusted. Born Stubborn. That is Born Stubborn, I've been listening to a lot lately. Because it's a great song. Uh, what else we got? Jessica, if I'm pronouncing that right. Really good song. Isatari. I don't know how to pronounce any of the uh, those ones. Ambush. Endangered Species. Dictator shit. It's all great. And it doesn't sound here, but I'm... I don't know. I guess... Does this version come with Canyon Jam or no? I haven't... I've ripped it to my computer, but other than that, I haven't really put it... But I will be listening to this and all my other favorite metal albums for my favorite metal albums video. So yeah, Roots. There's the CD. There's the booklet. It's all amazing. Then look at what the song Isatari has. Acoustic guitars, tambours. Recorded live in the home of the... Exvancy's tribe, the Brazilian tribe they recorded this album with. And then Look Away has Jonathan Davis from Korn on here. So yeah, check out this album. If you're a new metal fan, if you haven't listened to this, it's pretty much just, it is just Sepultura ripping off Korn with Brazilian music in the middle of it. So yeah, and it's one of my favorite albums ever. I love this thing. Cole, what are you eating, dog? Next up is one of my other most played albums or most played songs and that and if you don't have this band in your collection you need to leave right now. I got Motorhead or Gasmatron. This album is up this ha, this Motorhead album is my favorite Motorhead album for solos. Wurzel and Phil Campbell proved they were not here to fuck around. We got Death Forever, Nothing Up My Sleeve, Ain't My Crime, Claw, Mean Machine, Built for Speed, Riding with the Driver, Dr. Rock, and then lastly, one of my favorite Motorhead songs, Orgasmatron. There's the back. I fucking love this artwork. And they used it for the Death Forever single. And then you got the spine with your little Orgasmatron logo. And then same with this side. See, I th And then I got, obviously, I have the hype sticker, which is always cool to get. Oh, shit, that isn't all the way in. There we go. So, yeah. CD is just the War Pig, and we got all that. Uh, we just have the Orgasmatron lyrics, front and center. So, then it also has three bonus tracks on the road, live version from the Death Forever 12-inch. See Your Face Live from the Death Forever 12-inch, and then... An alternate version of the song Claw. So yeah. Bane for your buck. And then on here, just the Motorhead War Pig. Or Snaggletooth, actually. So yeah, next up are these are the sealed CDs that we're gonna open live for. The first one, Black Sabbath Sabotage. Oh my god. This is another I love this album. Like Hole in the Sky intro songs as intro songs go, this is up there with my favorite intro songs. You know, it's also got Don't Start Too Late, Symptom of the Universe, of course, Megalomania, Thrill of It All, Super Sizer, I'm Not Going Insane, Radio, and then The Rit. So yeah, there's the back. This is a great album. This like this is really like the last great Ozzy album. I mean, you get technical ecstasy and then you can tell they go downhill and then Never Say Die was just not their finest moment, but not their worst. So we're going to open up with the sword, so... Hopefully. Okay. 
so yeah. My dog is watching this, and she's very intrigued. So yeah, you're free from your packaging. Ooh, okay. Okay, this looks cool. I'll show you guys the disc. There's the disc. It looks damn near, uh, damn near identical to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, but... This is interesting. If you guys can tell me what that is, please let me know. But then we got that. Just the band. That looks cool. Then with these Sabbath digipacks, for some reason, you're going to get your booklet with that. That's weird. They got Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Is this just stuff from the Sabbath Bloody Sabbath tour? So, yeah. And then you got the band, of course. Whatever all the words are. I guess it's about changes. And then a cute little photo of Tony Iommi, of course. Okay. That's interesting. There's no lyrics, though, which is interesting. But yeah, my favorite song off this one is Easily Hold the Sky, so... Next up, I've had... Okay, so we all know Megadeth, right? I have an original pressing of P-Cell. So far, so good. So what my copy of Killing Is My Business is from 86. But this is the first Megadeth remaster I bought. Yes, the remasters sound like shit. But I think this one sounds like the least shit. And it is Rust in Peace. See, I haven't even opened it yet. But of course, you got Holy Wars, Hander 18, Take No Prisoners, Five Magic, Poison Was the Cure, Lucretia... Tornado Souls, Dawn Patrol, Rust in Peace. All great out songs. This is a great... This is my second favorite Megadeth album. Like, no fucking joke. Then we got bonus tracks, My Creation, Rust in Peace demo, Holy Wars demo, and then Take No Prisoners demo. So I think we can just... You don't need a sword to open remastered Megadeth albums because... It does... That, that, that's... It, because it's lame. It's free. I wish they had hype stickers. All right. You guys get the first look. That is stiff. You guys heard. Rust in peace. Very basic, I will say. It's just... Shit. It's just fucking white. We got that. Yeah, uh... This thing can come out of the book. We got... <sighs> Dave Mustaine, little... Dave Mustaine talking. Megadeth credits. Lyrics, and then a photo of Dave. Ellison. People say I look like him. What do you guys think? I can't do the. People say I look like him, and I. I don't know if I want to see it. And we've got a photo of Megadeth with Marty Friedman and Nick Menza, rest in peace. That's a photo of Nick Menza again. More lyrics. Marty motherfucking Friedman. And. More credits and words. Photos of Megadeth. So yeah, this is great stuff. Great. Rust in peace, man. Everyone loves it. I loved it too, but I like killing as my business more. What the hell? But then the spine is like part of Vic Rattlehead, so I almost feel obligated to buy them all, but I'm not. So yeah, hi. Yeah, I think Dog knows I'm wrapping up. So yeah, that is all I have for this week's metal. So yeah, hi. Yep, okay, hi. Dog.
What do you, do you have anything to say? Well, ew. What was your favorite thing from this week? What did you like this week? You like the bath. I think you need a bath. Let's go give you a bath. All right. All right. I am signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more, just let me know. Because I have nothing else to fucking do. I have a job. But the hours are not good. I love the job. Okay, anyway. Before I say something stupid, Kyra, what if I look like David Ellison? I don't care. All right. I'm done rambling for now. See you guys in the next video. Signing off. Bye.